Hi, welcome to Mathematics. In this video, we want to evaluate 9 raised to the power 7 minus 9 raised to the power 6 without using calculator. So let's go. Let's say solution. We have 9 raised to the power 7 minus 9 raised to the power 6. Right? So from here, we know that we can further split this such that we have 9 raised to the power 7 minus 9 raised to the power 6 to be equals 9 raised to the power. We can express 7 as 6 plus 1, then minus 9 raised to the power 6. So let's recall that whatever we have x raised to the power y plus z, this is equals s raised to the power y times s raised to the power z. So this is um multiplication law in this is what number with the base are being multiplied, their power are added. So from here, if you apply this, we are going to have 9 raised to the power 7 minus 9 raised to the power 6 to be equals 9 raised to the power 6 times you split this times 9 raised to the power 1 minus 9 raised to the power 6. So then this will be equals 9 raised to the power 6 is common. So let's factorize 9 raised to the power 6 out. So then what will be left here? We have this, that is 9 raised to the power 1, which is 9, minus what will be left here? That is 1. All right. So we have 9 raised to the power 7 minus 9 raised to the power 6 equals from here we have 9 raised to the power 6 and 9 minus 1 will give us 8 so we have this to be 9 can be expressed as 3 raised to the power 2 right so and we have raised to the power 6 already so raised to the power 6 then we have multiplied by 8 so we have 9 raised to the power 7 minus 9 raised to the power 6 equals, I will write this to be 3 raised to the power 2 raised to the power 6 times 8. So, but let's recall that if we have a raised to the power m raised to the power n, this is product power law, a number which is certain power is again raised to another power the powers are multiplied. So this will be a raised to power. So if you multiply the power, it's going to be m times n, and that is mn, right? So now let's now apply this to this. So we have 9 raised to power 7 minus 9 raised to power 6 equals, we have 3. So this is product power law. So let's apply this. We are going to say 2 times 6, and that is that will give us 12. Then we have multiplied by 8 here. All right, so if you look at this, we have 9 raised to the power 7 minus 9 raised to the power 6 equals 3 raised to the power. And we know that this 12 can be further broken down to 6 times 2, All right? So they multiply by 8. Though this simply means that we have this equals 3 raised to the power. 6, right, then this to the power 2 times 8. So if you look at this, our 3 is to the power 6 will give us, let's say, 3 times 3 in 6 places times 3, that's 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Then we have half square, right? So then times 8. So from here, we are going to have 9 raised to the power 7 minus 9 raised to the power 6. Oh, yeah, now let's see. We have this and this will give us 3 times 3 will give us 9. Right? So 9. So then 27 times 3, that will give us 8. So then 81 times 3, that is 243. Then 243 times 
three that's 279 right so now we have 279 ah uh, sorry 729 729 square times 8 right so we have 9 raised to the power 7 minus 9 raised to the power 6 equals 2 729 can be expressed as 700 so for to make it is we have 700 plus 29 square then we have times 8 right so now we have this let's recall that if you have x plus y square this is equals s square plus so then we have 2xy plus y square so from here if you apply this to the above expression here we have 9 is to power 7 minus 9 is to power 6 to be equals then we have we have a bracket so we have 700 so we want to evaluate this 700 plus 29 square so we have 700 square plus 2 times 700 right so times 29 plus 29 square we have 29 square so but don't forget that we have multiply by heat here so we have this we have 9 raised to power 7 minus 9 raised to power 6 equals 700 raised to power 2 will give us 490,000 right so then we have 2 times 700 that will give us 1400 so we have times 29 all right plus 29 raised to the power 2 will give us 841 all right so there we have multiplied by 8 let's further expand this so we have 9 raised to the power 7 minus 9 raised to the power 6 equals 4 90,000 for 90,000 plus 1,400 times 29 and that will give us 40600 plus then we have 841 times 8 all right so now let's perform a basic addition for this we have let's let's use this so we have 4 nine zero then we have zero 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 right so again we have zero for this zero six zero four then we have one four eight right so we want to add it we want to have this then later we multiply it with this so now one is zero plus zero plus one that will give us one then zero plus zero plus four that will give us four then with zero plus six that is six plus um eight that will give us 14 right so we have four carry one so then here we have zero plus zero that's zero plus one we carry give us one so then nine plus nine plus four that is 13 we have three we hold one so then here we have 4 plus 0 so that's 4 plus 1 that we hold that is 5 so we have we have 531,441 so the next one is don't forget that we have to multiply by 8 so now let's do so multiply by multiply by 8 let's do that we have 8 times 1 will give us 8 right so then 8 times 4 give us 32 so we have 2 we hold 3 so again 8 times 4 will give us 32 plus 3 we carry we give us 35 we write 5 we hold 3 right so 8 times 1 will give us 8 plus 3 we carry that will give us 11 so we write 1 carry we hold 1 8 times 3 
will give us 24 plus 1 we carry so that will give us 25 so we write 5 we carry 1 so again we have 8 times 5 that will give us 40 plus 2 that we carry that is 42 all right so now we have 4 million 251,528 so this is it so therefore you can now declare that uh, our 9 raised to power 7 minus 9 raised to power 6 equals 425 425 thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed this video can you like and leave a comment and don't forget to share with your friends and network do well to also subscribe to my channel to stay updated on my next video. Bye.